Hi, this is problem 19 from the 2019-12A. In triangle ABC with integer side lengths, we have these cosines for the three angles. What is the least possible perimeter for triangle ABC? All right, let's draw this out. Um, we have cosine C as a negative number, so that angle is greater than 90 degrees, so we'll try to get this about right. So. I'm thinking our triangle looks something like this. Sides A, C, and B. Let me just write in the cosines. 7 over 8. OK, we have all the information to plug into the law of cosines. So let's just take a look at what that is. times the cosine of A. And we'll have three more for the other two sides. And looking at this, I'm a little bit frightened. Um, we have integers that are squares. We have these cross terms, which are always a pain in the butt with any kind of integer equation. And this first equation all by itself kind of scares me. We're going to have two more of these. So this looks doesn't look like the right way to go. So let's try to invoke a little bit of wishful thinking. We don't like this equation as an integer equation, but we notice that we're given the cosines of these angles, but what if we had the sines of these angles? Then by the law of sines, we'd have some information about the ratio of these sides. And if we had information about the ratios, that looks like something we could solve for as an integer equation. So it looks like it's at least worth trying to see if we can reform this problem in terms of the sines of the angles. So let's try to go down that path a little bit. We know that uh, sine squared of a is equal to 1 minus the cosine of a. That's uh, 1 minus uh, 121, 256, 135, 256. And that tells us that the sine of a 3 over 16, root 15. OK, the root 15 is a little bit uh, troublesome, but uh, let's not panic. Let's uh, do one more. Sine squared of b is 1 minus cosine of b squared. So sine of b is 1 over 8, square root of 15. Uh, let's form the same denominator, 2 over 16, root 15. OK, this is a really good sign. We have the same root 15 in both of these, so we can form rational ratios between the signs. So that's a really good uh, indicator that we're on the right track. Let's do one more for the sine squared c, 1 minus 16. Uh, 15 over 16, so sine of c is equal to 1 over 4 root 15. Let's form the same denominator like we did before. Great, this is uh, really encouraging because now we can form ratios of the sines which will tell us the ratios of the corresponding sides. So sine c over sine b is just the ratio of 4 to 2. So that tells us that c over b is 4 over 2, or 2. And likewise, we can determine that sine a is to sine b as 3 is to 2. So that tells us that uh, a over b is equal to 3 over 2. So all totaled we have that uh, A is equal to 1.5B and C is equal to 2B. So let's choose B to satisfy these equations that make A and C both integers. So it looks like we can choose B to equal 2, which makes C equal to 4, which makes A equal to 3, all of which gives us a perimeter equal to 9 for choice A.